going. All right, so today talking about 11.2, new book, online book, if you don't have the, the one in, in hand. Now, this talks about using transformations. We're not going to concern ourselves with transformations all that much. What I do want you to be able to do, not worried about transformations, okay? What I do want you to be able to do is to prove similarity, okay? Now, when we prove similarity, that doesn't mean we're doing a proof. This means we're verifying or not whether or not all the parts of a figure are in ratio to another figure. That's it. Sometimes it's as simple as counting. Sometimes it's as complex as using the distance formula. But that, that's really all the assignment is regarding in section 11. Okay? All right, so we're on page 588. Everybody's on page 588. Take a look at the top of the page. You'll see two triangles up there. Okay? We're going to start off with using the distance formula just because I want to. And here are two parts that of the two separate triangles. All right, so we've got way up here at the top, we got S, and we got down here R, and we got E, and we got D. All right, so looking at the coordinate plane, Poff, what's the uh, coordinate of S? I would agree. The coordinate of S is 0, 4. And, Poff, what's the coordinate of R? Thank you. All right, so now there's SR, and it is a corresponding side to ED. Okay? If you look at it, it actually says this. It says vertices of garden, RST, and it says vertices of garden, D, E, F. And so how it's named, let me get that on the screen, Let's, uh, how it's named matters. And so R, S matches to D, E because of the order of where they're named. Does that make sense? Okay, and so you can just look at how it's named to tell you which sides match to which sides. That's pretty simple. Could be. All right, so how about E, Lively? What's the coordinate of E? Okay. Jacob, how about D? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the distance formula twice. Find the distance of here, find the distance of here. And then we're going to compare them to find what the similarity or the scale factor is between the two gardens. Okay? All right, so distance formula. Let's see, where can I put this? Let's put this up here. As a reminder, distance formula is a big square root problem. We go x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Distance formula. All right? So now we plug in all the parts of the distance formula. I'm going to use a pencil for this. So we're going to go s r the distance or the length of SR. Does it matter which one we start with? No, we just have to start with the same one for each, both X and Y. So let's start with the S. We'll go zero minus a negative four. Be careful with your negatives. Plus four minus a negative two. Squared. Chaz, you got it? All right, so. What's zero minus negative four? Positive four. What's positive four squared? 16. What's four minus two? Four minus a negative two. Six. What's six squared? 36. What's 16 plus 36? 52. That is square root of 4 times the square root of 13, which is 2 radical 13. You could do a decimal too. That'd be fine. Okay. So square root of 52 is 2 radical 13. All right, let's do ED. Let 
0 minus negative 2 squared. 2 minus 1. Is that a negative 1? Waymaker? Yeah. Did you tell me wrong or did I write it wrong? I wrote it wrong. That's what you're claiming. Okay. Very likely. All right. So, now let's simplify. Zero minus negative two is positive two. Squared is four. Two minus negative one is three. Squared is nine. And so we have the square root of 13. Is everyone with me using the distance formula twice to find the square root of 52 and the square root of 13? We good? All right. If you were to just find the decimals, you're going to find the exact same things I'm getting ready to show you. If I want to find the ratio, write that in big letters. If I want to find the ratio, remember, that's the same thing as a fraction. So I'm going to write these as a fraction. So this over that. What I'm finding right now is the scale factor. That's what I'm finding. So the square root of 13 is reduced, and the scale factor is 2 to 1. Isn't that nice and neat? Okay. Now, Sears, we just did one pair of sides. We did this, this one, and this one, right? Technically, and on other problems we're getting ready to do, you're going to have to do all the sides. Okay? Show that all the sides here and all the sides, they're all in the same ratio. Because if they're not in the same ratio, then they're not similar. Does that make sense? It doesn't get, it, they're not, you don't have to use the distance formula to go in all of them like that. So that's why I'm just kind of showing you everything. Okay? Good? Tracy, you good? Okay, go over to page 589 and look at your turn number three. It's down at the bottom. Okay, so page 589. I'm not going to recreate the picture. We're just going to talk through it. Let's talk about the similarity statement first. The similarity statement says L, M, N, O is similar, it doesn't use the similar symbol, I'm adding that, to G, H, is that a J? J and K. Okay, so there's our two figures. Now, I think you can look at it and say, okay, I know which ones match with which ones, but just in case you can't, you could also name them from the similarity statement, like this. L, M should be similar to GH. MN should be similar to HJ. NO should be similar to JK. And LO should be similar to GK. Everyone understand how I got those? Just from the statement. You're in the same position. Okay, so now from here, here is all you need to do on this one. Count the squares. That's all you got to do. You don't have to use the distance formula. Okay, so here we go. What's the length of LM? Sears, count them across. How many is it? Thank you. And Sears, what's the length of GH? Thank you. If I were to compare these as a ratio... What would we have? Don't tell me three. That's just how different they are. How do I compare these as a ratio? What did I do over here? And as a fraction. I can go six over three or three over six. Does not matter. So it should be one half or two over one, depending which way you're going. Okay. So now let's confirm the other three sides. Okay, we can go through it fairly quickly. What's the length of MN, Chaz? Just count the squares. And what's the length of HJ, Chaz? Better be eight. Is it? Okay. 
off, what's the length of NO? Three. And what's the length of JK? Jordan, what's the length of LO? And GK. And we're going to see how it works. So we would say that these are similar with a scale factor of one half. That would be our answer. Gracie, does that make sense? A lot easier than using the distance formula, isn't it? Everyone all right? If we're going to do one more problem, make sure you're good. I'm going to turn you loose. All right, turn to top of page 590. And take a look at number five. Okay, similarity statement once again. We got C, D, E, F, and T, U, V, F. All right, C, D, similar to T, U. D, E, similar to U, V. D, F, similar to V, F. C, F, similar to T, F. Okay, just count the squares. POF, what's the length of CD? Four. Okay, and what's the length of TU? Two. I would agree. All right. Wes, how about DE? Six. And uh, UV? Three. Are we in a ratio? Of two to one? Looks like we are. Ty or Tyler. What about EF? I would agree. And then what about VF? Agree. Jasmine, CF. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And what about TF? Are they all in the same ratio? The only thing I would say is maybe these are four and two. If you're unsure, if you're unsure, use distance formula. When you're unsure. Okay. Are they all in the same ratio? They are. Okay. And so we can say they are similar with a scale factor two to one. We good? Any questions? Very similar to what we did yesterday. A little different, but very similar. All right, here's um, your homework. Page 594, 1 through
Okay. That does that. Uh, 